Hey food foresters, Amy here. Today I'm gonna go ahead and do a spring update for you. <laughs> Did you figure out how to get up there? <laughs> My sweet girl. Okay, so we are in the grow out pen. And um, if you've seen our other videos, half of it is barricaded off. We have our breast chickens over here. The next pen has my regular chickens. Over here are my goats. But we had volunteers pop up. These are pumpkins. Uh, we're not sure what kind, but we gave uh, our birds pumpkins. There's another one here, another one here. And then if I go around, coming out of the grow up pen, <laughs> we got even more here. It's insane. All right, so this one has taken off like crazy. Then this, I think these are the white watermelons, but I'm not sure. This one here, I mean, not what pumpkins, but you got a pumpkin right there. Um, we have uh, Truly Tiny. We have a papaya and an Everglades tomato that all volunteered popped up. This is our Jacoba Cava. We planted in the ground. It's doing great. And we have a mango. That is our miracle fruit, which is also doing really good. This is another volunteer. And this also has a little pumpkin on it. Hi, Clyde. How's my Clyde boy? Yes. And then my Bonnie girl. How's Bonnie doing? Hey, how's Bonnie doing? Yeah. They're both goats are doing great. There's another banana. We got uh, passion fruit. No, yeah, no, dragon fruit. I'm sorry, dragon fruit, dragon fruit. More of these little bananas. These are littler bananas that we have here. Um, we do have, this is vines, but this here is the um, passion fruit. Um, we're trying to get it to grow up the tree, but it does not want to do that. So I may have to put in a staple or something. Then here is another volunteer uh, pumpkin. And the funny thing is it grew over the rainy, the rain we had a couple days, it grew through the fence. So I have pumpkins on the inside with my chickens. And there's all the ladies there. They're stupid. Hi guys! <laughs> yeah. We did plant a um, strawberry tree in here. Uh, this is the only one that survived the freeze. We have coffee. <laughs> coffee. Coffee. This is beetle leaf. And then we got more dragon fruit and passion fruit to grow up this beautiful oak tree here. It's huge. So that's all here under the oak tree. So let's go to the next section. <laughs> yes, Bonnie. Hi, Clyde. Bonnie, girl. Are you happy? Are you a happy Bonnie? You look sleepy. You want to take a nap? Yeah? Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> You silly girl. Um, here's more passion fruit that we saved from clippings that we'll be planting in different areas around trees and stuff in the yard. 
All right, Donald's worm bin. He um, spray painted the outside to help with light. And the worms are doing great. Um, they've actually been broken down. A lot of the, uh, the food and Donald's used this bucket. He got 15 gallons of worm castings and dumped it on our plants. All right, so there's more of the group. And then over here, Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. Hi guys. Good morning. How are you? Yeah. yeah. Let me fix your perch. There we go. Hi, Mr. Turkey. And uh, she's been laying eggs. But she lays them in the corner, but she hasn't laid today. All right. So, yeah, you're a proud Mr. Turkey. Oh, and you knocked your thing out again. You Silly turkeys. Oh, and a sneak peek. My daughter got rid of her futon bed. So we are going to have a raised bed. That's our next project. We'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, over here, my blue hydrangeas are coming back. And the broad leaf velvet broadleaf is coming back too. I cannot remember the name of that. And then I discovered over here, I have an aloe plant. Didn't even know it. <laughs> okay, this is on the side of our shed. This is the banana trees. This one's ice cream banana. These are all dwarf Cavendish type plant, type bananas. And as you can tell, we got a rack up there. Looks like it stopped producing so we'll be able to uh, let that cut that flower off soon this is food forest area number two um, we planted some different things that have survived um, we got to get in here with the weed whacker we got a uh, lemongrass we lost all of our papayas um, but there are um, pineapples in here somewhere. The banana circle survived. The low quad over there survived. These bananas survived. This is our olive tree. It got bent over with the wind, so we're going to have to stake that. The cassavas, which are all these sticks that you see, uh, bare sticks, they survived. They are coming back up at the roots, so we're going to have to chop the sticks down. The pawpaws coming back. Um, over here is the um, flying dragon, as you can see. It's actually pushing up above the weeds. This area just gets so bad so quick, but we do have a plan for that. Um, we planted another, that is a crepe myrtle here. This is a type of mulberry. Um, let's see this we lost that was the one of the strawberry trees the uh, prickly pear cactus survived with no problems all the blooms fell off of it I missed it um, more cassava uh, we lost this mango um, walking through there's lemongrass there cassava over here, I'm just being careful because it is really high weeds in here. Uh, this is the lemon tree. This is a Myers lemon. Uh, I got to get in here. And we got thorny blackberries, as you can tell. There's the thorns. The thorny blackberry bushes have come back. But I did see a bunch of flowers. Um on this guy so I'm hoping we'll get some lemons this year but he has pushed out above the stuff as well which you know for things that are surviving on neglect I'm really surprised it's doing actually this well you know for the leaves <laughs> and all these blackberry thorns that are in here um, what's next to it is the 
lemon tree or lime I'm sorry lime tree and even the lime tree is doing really well it's pushed up above everything then we have our sugar cane and we had new sprouts come up the two that you see that are brown those are dead but it produced uh, pups and pushed it out um, that one over there is another strawberry tree we lost to the frost we got the vines everywhere and then over here this was the avocado tree um, we lost that it it came to the, the frost as well these guys did great the bananas here and then let's go inside all right more ice cream bananas i am now in the duck yard now we do have this dog house here and we are actually letting our ducks go brody as you can tell there's one in there and they are sitting on a pile of eggs it's actually kind of funny hi thomas did i scare you thomas Hi Thomas, good morning. So this is the duck area. Um, this was one of our newer low quads, no problems. And then the bananas over here did great. And I'm also looking for eggs. I'm doing this, hi guys. Got chickens under there. Hi, there's Blondie. Yeah, that's Thomas's girlfriend. The ducks and the goose are all along the fence line over there. Well, I'm just looking for eggs. Hi, guys. Thomas. Thomas is so pretty. If you would turn around, you know, people don't like to see your butt. Here we go. <laughs> Thomas! He's just gorgeous. <laughs> and then there's Blondie. She's a gray slate. Yeah, show off, Thomas. <laughs> Okay, back to business. Anyway. So, let's see if we got any eggs. Oh, I do have one here. Let's pick up the eggy. And then, baby boy! I hear you. How's baby boy doing? And then there's the rest of them. Baby boy! He's so pretty. Or handsome, I should say. Handsome. And then my two mallards are getting along. Daffy and Mallard. And then we still got Rocky's girls in here. Yeah. Where's your sister? So, let's go check the uh, duck house, see if we got any eggs. Oh, there's your sister. Oh, and there's another ducky. Okay, guys, come on out. Come on. I'll move out of your way. Thank you. Thank you for visiting the Duck Hotel. All right, Missy, are you gonna freak out on me again? Come on, come on. I know, but you gotta come out. Come on, come on. There we go, thank you. Oh yeah, I got quite a few eggs. Oh, that's a tiny egg. Who laid the tiny egg? Holy cow. Oh, y'all, look how tiny that is. That's a tiny egg compared to that's a duck egg. This is a turkey egg. 
see. Is there another duck? Duck, duck. Somebody laid a tidy egg. Okay, so I am now inside our fenced in garden area. And this garden area, we're getting um, everything organized. We're actually going to put in a lot more raised beds. We're going to be growing on top of this mat, it's really convenient. So here's the um, oh, what was this one? I think that's going to be toothache over here which we have little baby sprouts of toothache. And then this one I think is lemon or spearmint. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back on my notes. And then over here is our, Donald calls it the lasagna garden. This is sage. This is definitely basil. We did, one of them is rosemary. And we are getting little sprouts still um, starting to come up. Still have not gotten the garden bed up yet. The bananas that froze back, their pups are coming along great. And then here is our tomatoes. Um, oh, the dogs keep stepping in it. This is also the dog area, so I have to be extra careful with this. But all of the tomatoes as you can tell are coming up great i am really really excited that this is working out and then these two over here is the wildflower mix and that is the bee borage mix so i'm excited to see those those are definitely sunflowers there uh, but there's other flowering plants over here we got the second tomato area set up. This one's gonna be more in direct sunlight. So we're have also growing here. And the tomatoes that are planted right now are the mystery tomatoes that our friend, uh, our one of our home center friends gave us. So we got them started. We just have to, it, it was raining the last three, four days here. So we didn't get a chance to get everything filled. This here is my, butterfly pea and as you can tell we got the trellis all set up but these guys are just blooming or not blooming but growing and they're starting to get the uh, where we can uh, get them almost tall enough to get them to start looping onto the uh, the trellis here over here is our chocolate baby bells which are coming up beautifully. They finally popped. Another one over here. And more over here. And then what's really exciting is we have our Asian yard long beans. Now, we did have a surprise tomato plant pop up here. We are not sure what it is because we had the, um, the Cherokee purple and some Roma tomatoes in there. So we're not sure as to which ones they are, but look at that. Asian yard luck. Oh, look at this. These guys are already climbing. Look at that. I'm so excited. We ran out of green beans. Can you believe it? All you have to do is this. Simple and easy. It's kind of windy, so I may have to come out here later and do it again. But they are starting to climb and vine. So I just go ahead and give them the encouragement. And let's see, these guys need a little help. So I'm going to help them out. That's all you got to do is just... When they start going one way, you just got to encourage them to go another. I won't quite reach. This one might. I'll put it down low. Get started. But I'll, uh, every morning I come out here and I tend to them, so. 
And then over here, this is in our old flock pen. We tore the fence down. There's another Everglades tomato. Everglades tomato. Everglades tomato. Everglades tomato. Oh look, Everglades tomatoes. <laughs> They're everywhere with the bananas. Um, we're starting to plant the bananas. Uh, we're gonna be cutting back that tree. Um, these bananas over here are doing great. We planted these last year. Um, this whole area we're going to have as potatoes and bananas. So, and then let's go into the other garden area. Okay, so in here, we transplanted my moringa. All of my moringa trees are now in here. They're doing great. Um, this one will probably lose a little bit of the leaves on the bottom, but it's still transplanted great. It's still pushing out new growth on top, the bottom, and that one. This was a volunteer. This is a guava that came back, and then the other banana. Over here are the strawberries, which I looks like I got a few that are ready. And then over here is the greenhouse area. Um, we had all the plants out to catch the rain. This is the first half. Cassava, our mangoes are doing great. And then over here is the lemongrass transplants, some mint, Donald's voodoo plant. There is the sour sap and the other mango. Now this one is really pushing out the leaves and they're really super long, which really surprises me. Um, we planted more cassava over here with some potatoes. They're coming along just great. Here is the loquat and look there. It's producing, those look like they're ready and then look there, a whole new batch. I'll be darn. This is the first year this tree is producing. So I may have to uh, go ahead and get those today. Donald will be happy. Um, we got another banana behind it. We planted and then we got more right here. We're starting to plant the bananas here to help with shade. Lemongrass that we cut back is doing great. Um, over here, we have our jumbo peanuts, which the sun is in my way, and they are doing great. Um, some new ones are starting to pop out. I still got, that's a Mexican, that's a Mexican over there. That's a blackberry, and then our original blackberry, which, look at all those blackberries coming out. It's a beautiful thing. And then we got another blackberry. So we're gonna make this the blackberry area. Um, our cranberry hibiscus is doing good since we planted them. And then here is our first bed. This has the, I think it's the high market eggplant, the Florida high market eggplant. And got our first couple of sprouts coming out. Excited. Over here is the strawberry. That This is year three of this strawberry area. So this is doing great. We planted more. This is going to be the high market eggplant. And as you can tell, we got sprouts coming up. I planted more seeds because we only got a few sprouts. And then this is our kale garden. And as you can tell, it's starting to come, which is great. And I got another one over here. I think this is the purple one. Yeah, it's got purple on it. We, we're not planting anything here. Um, if we do, it's going to be some type of shrubs, which we're hoping to do like the red sorrel, which I'll be planting 
in about two weekends for now because I wanted to make sure we didn't have any more really cold snaps. Um, so from here, we're gonna go on to the next area. Okay, so this is the blackberry area. And as you can tell, we just got them all over. I cannot believe how much there are on this bush right now. Um, we took out the tire here. We're gonna plant more blackberries here. And I'm gonna go down the line here. All right, so on this side are Grapevines have come back. Um, those are the muscadine grapes that's a native to Florida. We, Donald's Hawaiian pineapple sprouted. And this one produced a pop. This is another one of our low quads. This was a pigeon pea. I gotta take that down. It's done for the season. And then this was the blueberry patch. Um, Three of these were original. This one is doing great. And we do have blueberries, as you can tell. And we got some more over here. Got a lot right there. This one did not make it. This one was one of ours. This is a blackberry. We, we got them over here. This is a blackberry, the morning thing. This was one of ours. And as you can tell, it's doing great. And then this one on the end is surviving, but barely. That's a new one that we transplanted. That's the muscadine grapes. Donald planted some lemongrass over here. Um, this, this guy here is one of our grapevines. And we need to tend to it. Um, but the good thing is, is before we could tend to it, um, it started producing grapes. Literally. I have grapes everywhere on this thing. They're tiny. Let's see if I can show you. But yeah, those, these are grapes. And here's another one. Here's some more. So we're definitely getting grapes this year. A lot more than what we did last year. Um, bay leaf tree, doing great. We cut it back. Um, the Barbados cherry and the crab apple did not make it. Disappointed about that. And, uh, as you can tell, there's more grapes. I, I haven't even checked the back side of that. <clears throat> um, I think, believe this was a fig or some type of tree, did not make it. This is my river birch, which is great for sucking up water. That's why it's planted near the ditch. This is the, <clears throat> I think this is the white. <gasps> oh, somebody ate. I had one mulberry on here and it's gone. Somebody ate it, I missed it. But that's a, I think this is the white mulberry. Um, we got bananas in the background. Donald's curry leaf came back, we were happy. This, it, it got hit hard by the freeze, but it's coming back. Um, this is a Caroline Willow. It came back with a vengeance after the freeze. We thought it died. Did not. This is the LSU, named after Louisiana State University uh, fig tree. It came back, so we're excited. I hope this year we'll get some. Um, let me see. This is the brown turkey fig. Oh, black snake. Um, and we already got figs. Yeah, we do have a black snake that lives in here, which is fine by me. We got rats, so you do your thing, dude. Um, more bananas. This is another mulberry tree. Um, this one's fairly new, so it didn't produce anything. And then my jasmine. This is called Confederate 
jasmine and oh my goodness guys it just smells beautiful look at that mm. beautiful beautiful um this is called little no not a little prince. yeah this is the little prince banana and then donald's um dinner plate hibiscus is coming back again we have this here to market so we don't run it over cassava and then this is the everberry mulberry um this guy did not produce yet but this is only year two and we did cut it back so but it's going good, I'm getting tall. Okay, in the home stretch here. All right, this is near our house. Ice cream bananas are doing great. And I'm trying not to get it with you guys in the sun. Show you the banana rack. Um, the sun might be too bright, but there she is there, up on the roof. <laughs> so we're clearing out this area here for a couple of different reasons we want to make it a patio barbecue area uh, this is our dragon fruit the top of it got froze off it's not doing good so we may have to remove that out we're debating it more bananas my fire bush is coming back no problems more bananas um, there is an aloe plant right there that has produced this, and these are the flowers. Mexican sunflower or some type of sunflower there. We tore all this area up so far. Um, my comfrey is doing great. We got another pineapple there. And then this is the ever-bearing or not the ever, I'm sorry, this is a regular mulberry bush and it has just grown tall. And then along the house, we have banana trees to help shade, give us some uh, shelter from the sun all the way down. So that is it. And this mulberry tree is still producing. I'm still finding um, mulberries if the birds haven't gotten to it, but whew, it is tall. And here's the other side of the uh, garden area. Like I said, we tore all this up because we're gonna make this into a seating area. We wanna build another ramp, um, but we're gonna do it a little bit better. Um, we just gotta finish uh, tearing up a few more of the uh, tires so we can tackle this area but all in all everything has been doing great and um, we are uh, expecting some more changes so